dancing on the stage. Yeah, Jung Ding was so close. As close as you can get yeah. to beating JDCR. Oh, yeah. And now he's at the mini boss in loser's bracket. This is amazing. This is going to be good. The crowd whistling. We got hyenas out there. Oh, yeah. They're going to have to wait their turn. Okay, players getting situated. You know what I did love to see about Jung Ding after he lost to JDCR is he just had a great attitude. He's one of those He looks happy. He looks like he won. Every time, yeah. <laughs> every time I've seen him after losing, winning, he's just been in a great mood. He's happy to be here. He's happy to be at EVO. And I love to see that. So many first-timers here. Oh, awesome. yeah. And Jung Ding, of course, we talked about him earlier. Top rhythm player in the game. Lucky Chloe <laughs> and yeah, Andy Gordo. True. You're right about that. He, did he did he do the rest of his buttons in between breaks? I think he's just got the top three. He did a button check. Oh, so it is still one to ding. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm excited to see this. And this, of course, St. Last year's EVO champion mm -hmm. looking yeah. to defend here, but he has an uphill battle. Last year's EVO champion and Tekken World Tour champion as well. Correct. He really had a great year last year, so that, everyone's watching a him. Pretty good resume, I'd yeah. say. About as good as it gets. Oh, it looks like he's going to go for... Wow. Hey, we're in Vegas. You might as well go for luck. Party, yeah, party hard. Hit the tables. Yes. Lucky Chloe. And he's definitely trying to bet it all here. But you know what? We've said it time and again. Lucky Chloe can do damage. Huge damage. And in two out of three, that really is all that matters. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Jack himself isn't exactly a top-level character either, but tournament, he's got all the tools. This is kind of like a, um, you know, as far as tier lists, both characters are not that impressive when it comes to tier lists. So yeah. could be pretty evenly matched. But I'll tell you what, as players, I am impressed. I'm taking the oh, yeah. cult to mark. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And as I said earlier, Saint is an Eddie player himself, so perhaps that has something to do with the character choice for Chloe. All right, going into the matchup, here we go. Very diverse top eight so far. All right, here we go. This is it. He already broke the marble on the floor with the intro, I just realized. Oh, yeah. Not a care in the world. Nope. The Mohawk in play. Okay. Mohawk versus uh, cat ears, I guess, okay. right? Head crones. Head cronies. Okay, backing up. Poking, here's the first big damage off of Saint. Not just that, putting him into rage now. He's going to have to be... Oh, never mind. Never mind. This is how Saint starts out all his matches, just dominant. Yeah, and you know, that's part of being a champion. You know, he fights hard. Oh, yeah. But uh, judging not to be underestimated, he is one of those players that can hang with the best of them in Korea. Mm -hmm. Out of the air. He's going to get a wall combo here. Ouch. Oh, a low poke. Goes for the power crusher, and that's a pretty good option, I think, from Lucky Chloe here. But she has to, again, be very careful because it is high. Certainly. Oh, oh, there it is. The nice just frame launcher gets the wall carry. Goes okay. for the back one flip over. Here's the mix-up. And, you know, you have to be right up close in Jack's grill to go for that mix-up. Mm -hmm. Very hard to do that with Saints masterful movement. Yeah, and again, it might be a little bit hard, though, because he's using Jack. He is such a big target. Oh, goes for the oh, double boy. grab. Jung Ding. Oh, the whip. Wow, look at that. Hitting the brakes, getting all oh, the way in again. there. He's going to have to be careful. Wow. Thread that needle. And Rage he's going to kill him. Seven seconds left. Man, very nice. That's going to hurt big time. And of course, two rounds to none now. In favor of Echo Fox Saint. Okay, there we go. Round three. We've seen Jung Ding make comebacks before. He started off against JDCR struggling, but oh, there's a big low carry out of back turn. You always have to watch out for her California roll. That's what gives her the biggest damage oh, she yeah. has. And you know that pretty much is a free way in for a lot of players to get lows mm -hmm. in that situation. But because of that, it becomes such a crazy mental mix-up. Big mind game. Yeah, you're right. And look at the offense here from Jung Ding. He goes for the armor, trying to seal the deal, but it is Saint. Don't forget. Oh, you can't count him out. Look at the sliver of life that oh he's still staying alive. God. He ducked that mid, but it didn't reach. Oh! Woo! I don't care about that blue stuff. Put it away. Yeah. Put it away. All right, the low poke. He's on the board. Okay, Saint, waking him up. Nice and easy. Okay. And again, going for the safe pokes. And again, that is kind of punishable. It really is a mix-up here. Yeah. Doesn't want to take the risk to go for the punish there, just in case. The wall carry. Oh, the big trade. Can't juggle off of it, though. Unfortunate. Okay, the wall is a huge factor here. No California roll. Oh, no. 
Last opportunity. Plus frames. Backswing blow. That is plus. I think it's safe, actually. Oh, yeah. Backing up. Uh oh, oh gonna have to be careful. He caught him. No. He's alive. 20 seconds, but he just keeps that standing two out there. Beautiful keep out. Not allowing Jung Ding to even make anything happen. You know, able to get the punch in the face there. And you know what? It's gonna be tough here, because, you know, switching to Eddie. Eddie has traditionally had problems landing full juggles on characters mm. like Jack. Interesting. And okay. Kuma. So I don't know what's going on in Jung head here. He's going to have to make a hard decision because this might be his last chance. Yeah, I mean, it, he is in a corner here. Both his characters could be uh, not so great against Jack. Uh, he didn't do so well with Chloe there. He was more or less overwhelmed the entire time. But... You never know. As I also said, Saint is an Eddie user as well, so he's going to be very familiar with the character. It's an uphill battle, but I believe in Jung Ding. Yeah. Of course, one of the he's one of the newer generation of Tekken players. Yeah, in younger guy, but really, really a solid player. He kind of uh, put his place on the map during that Master Cup oh, where yeah. he won with double Eddies, right, in Tag Two. Yeah, he that was like a thousand man tournament or something, <laughs> and he won. And now, not okay, I guess not a stranger to Ooh, thousand man tournaments, right? Yeah, exactly. Not quite the stage he's on now, but it was a, definitely a big tournament. Yeah, Mr. One Man Team back with his capo guy, yeah. Eddie Gordo now. Looks like he didn't make the switch. That looked like it whiffed just from the standing animation. Can you believe that? That was yeah. a G. Okay, oh, he's off to an early start. He's going to go for this. Interesting. What for the forward two? They're probably going for the down forward two, but a nice jab interrupt again. Punish that. Very nice. I love watching Eddie in this game. One of the coolest characters. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. You know, I feel that about a lot of the characters in this game. Yeah. They're just so worthwhile and satisfying to try to learn what they have right. in store. That is the key word, satisfying. The characters are very robust. Oh, this is going to be big damage here. What's he going to go for? Wall carry. Oh, no, he, he dropped it. Finish. Big body. Ooh, double low. Unbelievable there. Very nice. So risky. Yeah. I mean, you got to live and die by the sword, right? If you're going right. to try to cut someone, get ready to get cut wow. yourself. The mix up. Back two has a built in sidestep there. Yeah. And that is always, the, that's the thing. Is like Eddie has so many evasive moves and stances. It's just because his sidestep game is pretty much non existent. Yeah. Only access to sidestep moves. It doesn't really evade anything. Oh, look at that. Okay, handstand. And I like it. You know what? Saint is starting to play very compact here, but he's going to have to be very careful about whipping those big moves. Most certainly. And the, that's the thing is, you know, Eddie has a ton of mid launchers here, but they come out a bit slower compared to the most most in the arsenal of the game. You're right. Man, look at the respect being shown between yeah. two players here. Oh, oh I, just when I said it. Never mind. Let me dash in your face. Yeah, you're going to stand there you like a robot? You that mohawk. Okay. All about dreads. Look at the time. This is going to be a huge factor. Uh oh, he got him out of the air. He's dead. Yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. There's not going to be enough time, but he is. Oh. The last mix up? Not enough time. Yeah, not yeah. enough range either there on the range relax. Too long. Yeah, after the rage drive, that slip kick is not deep enough to hit. It only partially hits. Okay, round count tied up here. Saint pushing towards the wall. The big robot shoulder. And the shoulder, but they kind of switch positions here. And now Jack's in a precarious position because his back is kind of near the wall as well. Uh oh. Oh, oh yeah. low pair, very really important here. What's he gonna do? You know, he has a sliver of life left, but he does have access to more damage now. And damage uh, modifiers, of course, with the rage drive and the oh, rage arc. Not much left here. A forward four, yeah, that's not gonna do it. So game one, Saint is up two rounds to one here. Game two, sorry, I forgot all about the Chloe pick. It was a button check. Yeah, but right now, this is very important because Jundink his tournament life yeah, on the that's line. It. That's what that means. If he's on game two here, he's in trouble. But still, you know, like Saint, he's just back to actually making him come to him. Let's fight in the open. I don't want to fall for your shenanigans. Yeah, Saint, in these cases, he just does these clean wins, clean rounds. Doesn't overextend. Oh, up three with that this is gonna be bad. Nice and easy. What for the power crush there? Nice under. and tough. Yeah, Jung Ding's in big trouble now. With the sliver of life left here, it's gonna take a miracle Go to pull this in. off. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how he could formulate this comeback. But I'd like to see him try. Yeah. Oh man. Look at this, there's no time, time left. It's winding down. <gasps> okay. Got him ducky. It's the beginning. Okay. The mix up here. He's got to hit him so many times. Oh, he went yeah. for the throw and what? Very nice. And you know, it's a valiant attempt there, but yeah. man, that was rough. And Junding is going to go home in fifth place. Yeah.